Hi, my name's uh, Alistair McCleary. I'm a vascular surgeon based in York in the United Kingdom. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit just about varicose veins. Now, varicose vein surgery is often viewed as a luxury uh, problem, uh, I, and I appreciate that many parts of the world varicose veins do seem trivial. Uh, in the United Kingdom, varicose vein surgery is usually paid for by the government, but it is rationed according to various guidelines that none of us in surgery really agree with. It's a misconception that varicose veins are a completely harmless condition. They're not just simply a cosmetic problem. Uh, and many patients can go on to develop significant complications from varicose veins. In the first instance, it's very common to have symptoms from varicose veins and aching legs at the end of the day uh, are very, very common. And that uh, is caused by your varicose veins. You can develop eczema around uh, on your legs. You get skin dis discoloration and occasionally a small number of patients can develop an ulcer on their leg which is caused by their varicose veins. So I'm a strong believer that if you have varicose veins you should see a doctor and you should have them assessed and the doctor will advise you whether they need treatment or not. Now uh, there are a number of myths about varicose vein treatments. And the one myth is that you should, oh, if you're a woman, you should wait until after you've had your family before you have your varicose veins repaired. Uh, Patients sometimes believe that whatever they do, the varicose veins come back, that the scars will be worse than the surgery, and that you'll be immobile for weeks and weeks afterwards. But pretty much all of that is rubbish. Uh, I recommend young women, if they're concerned about the appearance of the veins, that why, why wait until you're old before you have them fixed? You should have the surgery done when you're young. Most varicose veins don't come back, and these days we can do most of the surgery under local anaesthetic with very small scars that disappear completely. So the best way of treating your varicose veins is with one of the new endovascular, as we term them, techniques. These are minimally invasive keyhole surgery. So in the past we used to make big cuts in the leg, rip the veins out, strip the veins out, but we don't need to do that anymore. Now we treat the varicose veins with either laser or radiofrequency. These procedures are very straightforward. We do them under local anaesthetic uh, and you can walk into the surgery, have the surgery performed and walk out again. So they're very effective and probably more effective in surgery. Now there's a small chance they might come back, but that chance is, uh, is very small. And they can have further treatment if you need it. For other patients with varicose veins, uh, if it is just more of a cosmetic issue, some thread veins, these are the little small spider veins, can be treated by injections, and that works very well. Uh, now I should reassure you that the majority of patients with varicose veins don't go on to develop problems, but if you do get problems, it's certainly worth having them fixed. Another big issue really is patients who do have an ulcer on their leg. Uh, many doctors don't realise that the ulcers are caused by the varicose veins and therefore don't look for them. But it's very important if you do have an ulcer on your leg that you have it properly assessed by a vascular surgeon and if you have varicose veins, if the varicose veins are treated then the ulcer will usually get better. Okay, thank you.